My name's Alan Hart and today I'm doing Day in the Life of a Plumber. I'm still doing, I'm still on the Wiesman Vitadens 100 install installation. Um, I'm going to take out the take out the old cylinder. I'm going to drain this system down. I'll show you the old system. We'll drain it down, and and then I'm going to connect it in to the new boiler that we've installed. Um, yeah, so let's get on with it. I'm going to turn the water off shortly. But this is the header tank here, and that feeds. That's the cold water goes into the bottom of the hot water cylinder and then um, we've got two feeds there so that would indicate that some there's some of that's tank fed like a bath or maybe a shower but we'll have a look at that as well so we'll go turn water off now just going to do the stop tap outside on this house just because it's plastic so it's much easier just to turn off so I'll just turn that off now and then we'll drain the tank down just to give you an idea of what, what's happening here now that pipe at the back this pipe that's your cold feed and that goes into the bottom of the cylinder and that comes from the tank upstairs and then once the water's hot in here, it comes out of the top as hot water. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to I've turned the stop top off. We're just going to drain the heating, uh, drain the hot water cylinder down. Well, I'll drain the tank down first, and then to drain the cylinder down, we've got a drain off there. So we'll use that as well with a hose. So we'll turn the cold water off now into the property and now we've got the tap open and that's hot water and that's coming out of the cylinder but what we're doing now the tank from upstairs the water the water's coming down here it's going into the bottom of this cylinder and then at the moment it's coming out of the top here now once we've done that we still need to drain all the volume of water out of the cylinder so I've put the hose pipe on here and I've actually cracked that open a little bit because sometimes they stick but as we've got more pressure at the moment because of the head of water I've just opened it a, a little tiny bit and then that hose pipe goes to outside so then that cylinder will be empty this side this side is the heating coil and often what you'd find is these pipes here this it's piped like it with gravity and they would be cold feed and expansion but on this system it's been converted to a sealed system so we need to drain the heating down you see that it's got a pressure gauge on so we need to drain the heating down before we can take the cylinder out we've got the boiler in here it's got a pressure gauge here and it's got a um, PRV there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that. Just uh, you won't normally do this um, in normal use because that might start to leak afterwards. But it just makes it easier for us to drain it down now. So the cold feed into the cylinder. I've cut that off there. I've been draining the cylinder down from the drain off there at the bottom and just to make it a bit quicker I've just cut this pipe and I'm just tipping it into this tub here now I need to do them that side there so that's the flow and return for the coil and then I need to disconnect that top there so that's the hot water outlet and then we'll be able to remove and lift the cylinder out and then we'll be able to get to our plan. So it was our S plan under here, our S plan plus. So we can get to all that and then I can connect it into the new system that I've connected out into the garage. And I've put some pipes into here for that already. So I'll sort that out shortly. 
I've disconnected pipe on the top for the hot water. I've disconnected feed into it. Um, I also disconnected, I've cut the pipes off on this side so I can lift this cylinder out now. Remove the shelf now, all the cylinders gone. So we know this is hot water. So that's this hot water pipe going down to feed downstairs. And then that's, that should be the expansion. Um, I need to just search some of these. Depends how they've piped it in. And again, these here, these should be dead, but it could be that a radiator is connected off there. So I'm not gonna cut these out until I know the alt system works perfect. But I'll cut all this back now. And then we've got access here. So that's a zone valve for heating for downstairs. So that's easy enough to work out. That's that one of the zone valve there, just took head off. And that goes up there. And that goes upstairs. So that's for upstairs circuit. And this zone valve here, that will put hot water cylinder. So it's all straightforward in here. Pumps there. So it pumps there. Pumps actually on return. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, yeah. So we'll cut all this out now. Just come upstairs to drain the tank now. Take the tank out. If we have a look at that. That should be a compression fitting, and somebody's actually soldered it. Connected all this up with speed fit in here and I wanted to test it before I start piping it all in in copper but um, I didn't connect these in these two pipes that came off top of the cylinder because I thought that they could have been the old open vent and, and feed but the radiators in the bathroom didn't work so now I've connected these in I've just teed them in here just temporary for now We'll just make sure they work now. All this plan is on the return back to the boiler, which is would indicate it's a, quite an old system. And the filter is on the floor. And then I've temporarily just connected all this in just to get it, just to test it and see what's working. The upstairs rads in the bathroom, they now work because I've piped them, pipes back in there, temporary. I've installed the tun dish on here now, so now we're gonna test it. See there, it's actually squashing over a little bit, so as you can see, there's all water coming out there. Water on that, and then we'll test it on the top one. You can see that it really is squashing over now, and that's the hot water now that's coming out of there. So that's on a standard tun dish. I'm going to try a hot and high flow on this and see if it makes any difference. I hope you found that video of some use. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.